Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to make a real shooting taser. So for this video, you will need a few things. You will need a disposable camera that is already used, it's okay. You will need some cable wire, quite a bit of it. Some regular wire, like some adapters, batteries, few electronic supplies I'll get to later. Um, potentially a tube, depending on the design. Um, you'll need some electrical tape, scissors, and two paper clips, or thumbtacks, or needles, or something like that, along with a hot glue gun, and your shooting supply. So for the actual shooting supply of your taser, which is where the everything will be housed, and the actual gun, obviously, I was thinking of using one of these dollar store guns, but I was doing some power testing and everything, and they weren't powerful enough, so if you get lucky, you might find one that will do the trick, but for this video, I'm going to be using my stealth paintball gun, which I just picked up for like 20 bucks. So first, you're going to get your power supply out of the camera. So first, when you're doing this, I won't go through all the details. I've done it in a million other videos. So if you want, check out one of those videos, such as the taser or something like that. Take out the battery and take apart the camera and make sure to ground the circuit board when you're doing so so you don't shock yourself and basically when you're done you're going to end up with the little circuit board like this with the 330 volt I believe um, capacitor and this little spot here for the battery and of course I have taken out the flash component and so now I just have the two positive and negative wires which we will use for our project now you're going to want to mount this circuit board in a convenient location on your gun. I'm using a paintball gun and mine has a little plastic magazine right here. So I'm going to use a bit of hot glue and attach it right there with the battery in a location that works very nicely. So there I have the connected charging box. I used hot glue under the battery along this edge and at the top here. The one thing I forgot to mention, which is why I have offset it, is that the charging button is on the other side of the circuit board. It is that silver button right there. And obviously you have to be able to access it, so I cannot simply put it right on top of my magazine. Now for the bullet, I'm going to be using a Nerf dart. And what, what I've done is taken these paper clips, you need two of them, and strip the plastic off to expose the conductive metal. And now to make this, we're going to make it like a dart with two prongs. So I'm going to connect one of these probably around there somewhere. I may have to trim this down a little bit. And the other one over on the other side so they do not touch. And then, taking your speaker wire, you're going to tape it. It's hard to show you guys. Over here. And I've stripped the ends so you can attach one end of the speaker wire to one of the prongs and the other end to the other. So it'll be just like that. There you have it, the taser bullet. I secured everything with a bit of electrical tape, but basically you get the idea. And just because they might be a bit too flimsy, I'm gonna probably cut them down around half the length. So the bullet is in the barrel. I've added some electrical tape on the end to give it a perfect seal. Now you have to measure how much of this wire you require. So let's say you want a 10 meter long taser. Measure 10 meters of this wire and cut it off. So then we're going to connect it to the end of your taser over here. So on the other end of the wire that the bullet is on, I probably cut around 2 meters of wire here. You're going to attach it to the red and orange wires that came off of the circuit board from the camera. So all I'm going to do, I've stripped them as you can see, is just twist them together, wrap them up in some electrical tape, and do the same with these ones here. There's the connection I made, hooked up both the wires, and I also used some electrical tape to tighten it in here. So when you shoot it and it pulls, it won't rip the connections apart. So to prepare it for fire, simply wrap the cord around the barrel, stick the bullet in the end of it, and you are ready to go. Now before we go for good, what I'm going to do is test it real quick. 
So to test it, get yourself a knife or a fork or something with a wooden or plastic handle and charge your gun. Listen closely. So once the high pitch squeal stops, you're most likely charged. And I'm going to tap the knife on the end of the two prongs to make sure it completes the circuit. I'll spin it so you can see it better. Here we go. There you go, made a little spark and made two dents in my knife. So we're ready to test this thing out. So for my first test fire, I'm going to be firing over there towards my wonderful Christmas tree. Don't knock it. Um, anyway, so I'm not gonna be shooting at anything. This is just a test to see if it unwinds properly. It might not, but then I'll have to adjust it and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, here we go. First test of the shooting taser. Three, two, one. All right, well, let's see what happened there. So it looks like the bullet did unwind and it stayed together. The tape I put on the back fell apart. And so it didn't fully unwind the coil, but it still probably went a few meters. So let's get at our special target and see if it actually works. So I've got the gun loaded up again and I've turned the lights off because for this test we'll be shooting at a ham. And inside the ham what I've done is I've put these little LEDs which obviously won't withstand 330 volts. So I'm not going to do a distance test. I'm going to go right up next to it and we're going to shoot my ham. I'm going to close the blind over there and we'll see. I don't even know if this test will work. But we'll see if I can get some of these to light up and like short themselves out, which would mean there's electricity going through this ham, which would mean our shooting taser works nicely. So let's get it going. Here we go. First, we're going to charge up the taser. Here we go. First, I'm going to charge up the gun. All right, should be good. Now, let's do some testing. Firing in three two, one. Well, that was weird. So it looks like because we were so close, it actually went straight in and back out, because as you can see, it goes into the ham really easily. And right here, there's actually two black dots. So it did burn the ham, meaning it probably shocked it, shocked it too a little bit. These didn't do anything, but that was just for a fun little experiment. Whatever, anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry it's all dark now, but turn off all my lights for this. Uh, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click that big red subscribe button right there. And also, check out some of my other videos by clicking the links on the screen.